Probably my favourite memory. I think one of my favourite memories. My favourite memory. Okay, so my favourite memory. One of my favourite memories, of which there are many, because it was a magical experience. Probably my favourite memory of shooting season two is all the stunts and all the stuff I do with the Black Raven. Vignette really steps into her own in season two. She really has a grit, a darkness more about her. She's got more to lose, which means she has more to fight for. You know, the flying. I loved doing the stunts. It was really some of my favourite parts. I think one of my favourite memories was shooting in episode six, the, um, the shadow version of Philo as it was physicalized to be on screen with Philo. I had this idea of, you know, Batman and the Joker and the duality of life. And as Jung talks about the shadow self, I wanted to see what the shadow nature of the character was and how that would play out. And I saw him as, you know, a kind of jester-like character, similar to the Joker in some ways, like a kind of dark, shaking version that really had this impact on who he was and how he operated. How could it not? be here. That must have been blind luck. Still playing the detective, are we? It takes him on this, this very dark, deep internal journey and it was a great tool for showing how Violet thinks and feels. One of my favourite memories, of which there are many because it was a magical experience, um, was visiting the row for the first time. So my character gets to go to the row and I walked into it with all these magical creatures and centaurs and pucks and fae and it's just everywhere as far as the eye could see and it was just very surreal for me because Sophie mainly lived in the human world she had Janilla but that was kind of it so to see the world in all its enormity um was actually magical and then I also just loved all of my scenes with Artie we worked on them um a lot and we always had the best time <laughs> in between takes. We were very good at messing around together and playing and we just had a wonderful time. Very different to our characters. My favourite memory of being on set on Carnival Row um, was probably filming a scene in season one with Indira Varma where she slapped me. <laughs> Do you take me for a f***ing fool? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It was for your own good. It's always been for your own good. That was, yeah, memorable for obvious reasons. But uh, yeah, that felt like a real uh, wake up call to uh, to um, to acting at that level with those kinds of actors. So being slapped by Indira Varma is one. Collaborating with Caroline across the two seasons has been an absolute joy. And I, and I can only wish to act with people and personalities like Caroline's in future, if I, if I get to be as lucky. Playing cards a lot backstage or sort of off, off set um, uh, during uh, season two, a lot with Simon McBurney and some of the other uh, actors, um, that was a lot of fun, you know, uh, especially dressed up in our, in our finery, playing card games whilst we waited for the uh, cameras to roll. That was awesome. Okay, so my favourite memory from season two is the three of us being um, in the cast tent after doing a really quite complicated long one shot through this kind of war zone. There were a lot of amazing kind of choreographers and fight choreographers there making it happen. The camera was on this crane, we're going through this, this town feeling pretty epic and there was lots of flames everywhere and explosions and we kind of all got back to the tent and it just felt like we'd really achieved something. It felt, and I wouldn't have had it with any other, any other guys, like it was just such a great piece of teamwork and it, there was just a proper buzz from that. I'm really proud of that. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I thought Tamsin was going to say it actually, but around that that whole scene, massive fight sequence, lots of things. The thing was done in a wanna, and Tamsin had very kindly uh, saved me half of a, a, a chocolate bar, a bounty chocolate bar, um, and you know, I was tired. I've got the 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 horns on, I've got the hooves on, big coat, come in and the bounty bar has gone. And what ensued between particularly Tamsin and Andrew was a sort of murder mystery of who who killed the bounty bar. Um, <laughs> and I was dead on my feet from it being 3am in the morning. However, that carried me through right the way. 
to the next night. So um, that has got to go in the sort of memory pot. So my favorite memory from season two may be singing to my sister. I finally get to sing to my sister. Who knew Ezra can kind of sing? Who knew? We are a nation under attack from within. It is my duty to send a message to any critch considering sedition. A gift from the Chancellor to the fine people of the row. It's fine. Executed without even a trial, innocent men. It's your decision. The world's falling apart and we can't just sit at home and do nothing. What have you got in mind? Take a closer look at what you're doing to us. I thought if we were peaceful, they'd show us mercy. But now we know the truth. If they shoot at us, nail our heads against a wall, they will pay for it in their own blood. If you go after them, they'll come for all of us. The whole row will burn. No one can stand in the way of what is coming. They are human.